my name is Lois, and welcome to the Lois and Lamar TV talk show. I am your host for today, and I have co-hosting with me, Lamar Bunbury. Our special guest today is Deja Nelson. Deja, how are you? I'm good. Welcome to the show. Thank you so much. I'm very excited to be here. And we're so happy to have you here with us today, Thank Deja. You. Deja, tell me, how old are you? I'm nine years old. You're nine years old, and can you tell me a little bit about the school that you go to, Deja? Well, I'm actually in a homeschool program. Um, my mom and my twin sister do like an online homeschool program, so she prints out work from different worksheets and different sites that she finds for us to do. Wow. I wish, that I, was, I wish I knew what I was doing at nine years old. <laughs> if I was nine years old, I wasn't even nowhere near that level. And tell us, like, what really, at the age that you are, what made you really want to get into acting and, and entertainment? Well, I always like to watch different shows and see how the other people are acting or just doing whatever I do now. And, like, with acting, I would just want to portray different characters and be that person on the TV show. And I would love to always pretend and say the people's lines on the TV awesome. show. And with designing, I would always watch, like, Project Runway or anything, like, shows like that that would make clothes. And I was like, I want to make my own clothes. I would always just take clothes somewhere and make them into a style and fashion and different things that I like. Yo, that is, that's really awesome. Like, you, you know you were like a triple, quadruple threat, like, on this <laughs> entire industry. I mean, you do a lot of things. You do acting. You also do the clothing line. You have your own clothing line, correct? Right. I'm an eyes designs. Oh my goodness! <laughs> if I if I had the talent that you had at the age of nine, then when I was a young person, oh my goodness! Tell me, um, what type of things do you really have for us for the future? Like, what are you planning on doing with your career, moving on? Well, moving forward, I would really like to get more stronger into my acting, and I would really like to get stronger into my designing and everything like that and I would love to probably get um like um an Oscar or something for acting I know I, that's and right I, and I really want to be on a TV show I know that's right you will go for I that really Oscar right be on Nick. you want to be on Nick mm -hmm. I can see you on Disney Nick. Channel too like, can you share with us some of the projects that you're working on now Let's see. Um, I'm actually working on a short film called Dredging Gray with Mr. David and uh, it's I play princess in that film. Okay. And actually, yesterday I just was aired on uh, the Harry TV show. Uh, oh my goodness! And I posted it on Facebook, and it was on Fox, right? Yeah. Oh my goodness! Definitely tell us how was that whole experience for you on the Harry Cormick show? That was amazing. I know that he's from American Idol, and I was just so yes. excited to be there. They had my clothes on mannequins, and I was designing there. And there was also another lady there. I mean, you know, little girl. She's yeah, 16. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Her name is Gabrielle Jordan, and she makes jewelry. So we were both on the show together. But that was just an amazing experience for me to be on the same stage with Mr. Harry Connick. So that was just amazing for me. Deja, tell oh me, goodness. do you only design for yourself or for little girls? Would you mm -hmm. be able to design a, a beautiful dress for Lois to wear on her talk show? Yes, of course. I, I would design love for you to do that for, for me. For little girls and little boys, I really want to get into more teenagers and adult clothes because I think that that would be really good. And now, me and my twin sister have our clothing line, and we're now focusing on blazers. Blazers, so, yes. awesome. We have different blazers. Um, we have like a yellow and orange one, okay. uh, purple and blue one, jean, and everything. Oh my wow, goodness. So we have to talk because I really would like for you to design something for me to wear I on, on one of the talk will. shows. I know, I know that's that right. would be Thank just you. awesome. Yes. Yes. Yeah, I know that's right. Yes, and I understand that you're working on something with I Care or I, I Care Academy. I Care Academy. Yes, mm -hmm. can you tell us a little bit about that? Well, I'm the face of I Care Academy, and what I Care Academy is, it's like an organization dealing with all the kids in schools, and they're trying to bring back arts and education into uh, the schools. Mm. So I'm the face of there, and I speak at uh, events that they need me to speak at and different other things. Yo, that is that is really just amazing. I have to really put it out there to the audience. The first time that I 
met this prodigy right here was actually on a film that I was working on. And it was actually called Coming Home, Rumi's mm -hmm. Dream. And this wonderful little girl, she played my daughter. When I first worked with her, I even started cringing. <laughs> like, I'm talking about when I worked with her, she was at a level that some grown-ups haven't even reached yet. And just by the level of her professionalism on set, it really, really blew my mind. This movie is going to be really good. It's called Coming Home, Rumi's Dream. And also... You're in another film that I saw you on. Which one? Was it called Skin? Oh, yes, Skin. Tell, skin, exactly. Tell us about it. Well, actually, Skin was before. Now I'm working on Beyond My Skin. I actually just filmed my last scene a month ago, I think. Yeah. It's, um, it's about, well, it's uh, directed, produced, written by an Wolf, and, um... It's about, well, I play the little sister of t t Bryn, actually, Bryn. Okay. And it's, like, about different three teenagers um, dealing with some issues at home. Like, well, my sister, okay. she plays, well, Jabria Anderson plays Bryn. And she um, she's going through some stuff at home, like, with our stepfather. He kind of molests her. And mm. My sister tries to keep me from it, but then it ends up happening to me too. And wow. then we're just both sat in the house and everything. And with the other girl, she, um, it's something about, I forget her story. That's fine, go ahead. Go ahead. And, and then the other boy, he's a kind of girl, so he's going through some stuff at school and everything, so I think that this will be a really good film because it's very powerful, Yes. and at the end it's a little sad, but I like it. It's, it's a really good film. So is it all children in this film? No. We there's have some teenagers, adults. and uh, there's extras who play adults, and I'm the little sister of, of Bryn, so. But you have a main part. You have mm -hmm. a main role uh, in the film. Yes, I'm a lead role. The film. Lead role. That's wonderful. My name is Trinity in the Trinity? film. So, okay. You know, that is that is so great. Tell us, like, to be able to prepare, because from actor to actor, I know how it is, but right. at at your age, you know, there's so there's so much farther to go, and mentally, you have to deal with different things. Who is this calling now? Let's find out. <laughs> this might actually be a director. Hello? Oh, hello, how are you? Right it's more people for it's more people for the Lois Labar show. See, people already call it already. Right in the middle of our show. Right in the Deja? middle of the show. With people. Nelson? Right in the middle of the show though. <laughs> with Deja? With Deja with, with Deja Nelson on here. You Not see people in the middle of the show they're actually Deja asking Deja. about they want to know more about actually they're telling me. Yes? Oh, okay, okay. Actually, these people on this phone are at. They want to know where can you actually be contacted because there's some people that might actually want to work with you in the future. Wow, that's great. Wow, on Instagram. Deja? Well, on oh, first Instagram. time on the show. Come on. On Instagram, I'm De Chanel. You can follow me there, and you see all the pics and videos that I do with everyone. And also on Facebook, I'm Dacia Nelson. And me and my twin sister have our clothing line. Her name's Diana Nelson, and we have our own, I mean, we have our uh, Instagram page called Almond Eyes Designs that we put our clothes up and everything. We actually had a few, photo shoot, um, I'm guessing two months ago, for all of our blazers. So you can see that on our page. That was a really fun photo shoot. So, yeah. You heard this, right? If you didn't hear this, I'm going to text this to you because this this little girl is amazing. Thank you. You be basically basically be online. We will get with you very soon. <laughs> People are crazy. <laughs> it's the Lois and Lamar show. People do what they want, though. Deja, may I have your permission to send you a friend request on Facebook? Yes, definitely. Right. I would love to be your friend on Facebook, and I'll hit you up on Instagram, okay, too. Okay, cool. That way I can follow you and all the great things that you're doing. Yes. I, absolutely. It's, it, this is just a wonderful situation. And um, one parting thing I would like to say with you, as an actress your age, mm -hmm. what do you do to prepare to go for these roles that are really deep? And mm -hmm. what would you tell people your age 
that are still up and coming actors and actresses, what would you say to them to prepare? Well, how I prepare is when it's like a really deep role and I have to either cry or have to run or do whatever, I just think of something that would really make me sad and try to hmm. take the character into that. I don't know what you guys prepare for. I mean, do to prepare but that's what I do and sometimes sometimes I can just make myself cry without even thinking about anything I can you are a real <laughs> gifted artist to be able to cry without thinking about it thank you that's a thank real you. true talent and an artist yeah and it draws a lot from in here so right. I know after you've done that you have to go home and basically recharge right exactly because it takes a lot out of you and, and like I was saying what do you have to say for up and coming actors and actresses that are your age that are trying to do the same thing what would you give them as words of encouragement what to do well just always stay true to, to yourself and try to prepare and do as much working as you can do for this character. Make your character as how you want it to be. You can make it funny or or sad or anything that you like. Just remember to stay true to yourself. And everybody always says that I inspire them. And that's really touching to me. And just remember to prepare, prepare, prepare. When you go into audition, be yourself. Light the crowd. Do whatever you need to. Yo, that, that is awesome. That is awesome. for. A lot of aspiring actors and actresses her age, definitely, and people our age. There's a lot that we can learn from this young individual right here for all of us to be able to move forward. Like, I'm very, very blessed to be able to have you here with us today. This is Thank wonderful. You. Thank you so much. And we have a couple clips of things that you've done of you on the fashion walkway. Mm -hmm. We also have a couple things with your monologue and a couple things that you have on YouTube. Okay, cool. We're going to be showing them for the audience right now before we go. Is that okay with you? Yeah, that's you sure? awesome with me. Yep. All right then. So let's check out these clips. Friday nights, you know? Are you Tony's wife? <laughs> no. Are you his girlfriend? No, no, no. I still see his face in my dreams. And how terrified I was when he touched me and yelled at me and beat my mother. And you know how much I just wanted to run away from it all. To escape from the hell I was in. God, why did my mom have to ruin her life on drugs? Why did she do this to me? Why did she have to bring him into our lives? God, I can't forget those cold nights, sleeping out in an alley like a stray cat, feeling like I'd never have a normal life. Did you get them? It's your turn. You know the plan. Yeah, you know. Thank you very much. Are those my pictures? Why are you making all that iced tea? the gummy worm road. Nanny? Okay, we're about to get out class soon, so we will be there. You know the plan. Okay. Good. Good. And he's the one in the decked out minion outfit. He's the reason you're not going to class? Yes, he's mean. And I tell him to stop, but he keeps picking on me. Okay, go! I'm not sure. I feel like I need a cut of something. Are you asking me to bribe you? I heard you could be getting those sandals. You know, the ones that are signed by the neighborhood? Okay, you're crazy if you think I'm giving you anything on that level. I'm not asking for both, Casey. No, no way. Okay. What are you doing? What are you doing? Yeet! I'm gonna send this to mom. You could stop this if you give me one of your shoes. You know what? I don't care. Do it. I might not even win the bet anyway. Of course you will. Bye, Casey. Deja, 
Thank you so much for coming on the show today. We really, really have enjoyed you. You've given us some really, really good information. You're welcome. And Thank you. our journey is your journey. Thank you so much. We this was a are pleasure your being here. To a rising star. And thank, thank you. you so much for coming and being a part of the Lois and Lamar TV talk show. You're welcome. And that footage was dope. <laughs> <laughs> that footage was dope. Thank you. We'll be circulating it a lot more. For those who want to contact her, please contact Lois and Lamar. She will also have her information up for people to check that out later on. Dave Chanel, and everyone, thank you for being here. You're welcome. Thank you. <laughs>Lois and welcome to the Lois and Lamar TV talk show. I have co-hosting with me today Lamar Now I'm gonna end it Now we gotta end it out Are you coming back? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. For the ending. Alright, smile. We'll come back here in a second. Remember, we can always go more, you know, with that out. We don't need mm -hmm. so no more, but back a little bit, not too much. Okay. okay.